Prepare to be unsettled. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 disturbing video games. Are you a fan of this video? Be sure to subscribe to catch our latest show, The Bolt to E3. Four gamers take an epic road trip from San Fran to LA, gaming all the way. Coming soon to Watch Mojo. For this list, we'll be looking at the video games across all genres that are likely to unnerve you for a variety of reasons, whether it's a particular moment or its overall content. Keep in mind that we will be going slightly into spoiler territory here, so a spoiler alert is now in effect. Number 10. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth The premise of this game involves you playing as a young boy, stripped naked, locked in a basement, and having to wade through area after area filled with horrifying monsters, with your default defense being that of projectile tears, all in the vain hope to avoid being sacrificed by your mother. Yikes. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Putting a highly addictive twist on the biblical tale, if the backstory doesn't have players feeling a little uncomfortable, then they just gotta wait until they have to face off against the increasingly nauseating bosses along the way. Oh man, it sucks to be Isaac. Number 9. Eternal Darkness – Sanity's Requiem We could go into detail about the gripping story that spans across multiple timelines, or how at one point you're tricked into stabbing a man encased in a statue. But in reality, there's only one real reason that this game strikes fear into the hearts of all those that have played through its contents – the sanity effects. Should you let your sanity drain to zero, then the game literally turns against you. Characters' limbs will suddenly start exploding, bugs will start crawling everywhere, heck, they even go so far as to throw a fake blue screen of death at you. Man, this game's evil. Number 8. Resident Evil 7 – Biohazard Reclaiming its crown as one of the scariest survival horror franchises out there, Resident Evil's return to glory brought with it all manner of unsettling sights courtesy of the Baker family. <laughs> there are too many gruesome moments to count, but if we had to choose some of our favorites, they would be getting our hand cut off with a chainsaw, Jack Baker decapitating a police officer with a shovel, Marguerite Baker's hideous hive crotch, or the fact that Lucas Baker seems to think of himself as the next Jigsaw. Anyway, one thing's for sure, we don't think we'll ever be visiting Louisiana. I'd really like to make it out of this room alive, and not die a horrible, painful death. Number 7. Inside So many questions, so few answers, and a whole lot of WTF in between. For example, why are we, a seemingly innocent child, being hunted down by men with guns and attack dogs? What is with the abundance of remote control corpses? Why are there killer mermaids living underwater? And of course, the one thing that everyone still can't get over, what was up with that, that thing at the end of the game? As beautifully dark as this game is, all it did was leave us confused and quietly horrified. Bravo, I guess. Number 6. Phantasmagoria Nice doggy. Good dog. Good boy. Live action point and click games are something of a special breed, or at least they were, since the majority of them tend to fall short or feel kind of lifeless. Well, thanks to the vision of creator Roberta Williams. We not only got a game of professional quality in terms of gameplay and story, but thanks to the on-screen performances, we also got some very dark and disturbing content, including some very phantasmagory on-screen deaths. <laughs> I'm sorry. We see a woman get her head carved out like a watermelon, another get her head snapped in a vise, and another is forced to ingest awful. Ugh, it's a whole parade of disgusting imagery. Gotta love the 90s, right? Number 5. Postal There's nothing wrong with wanting to play the bad guy. If done right, it can even open doors to brilliant storytelling. There's also nothing wrong with wanting mindless action from your game. But you gotta admit, when all you're doing is going around shooting innocent people over and over again under the guise of a paranoid, heavily armed schizophrenic, it kinda starts to feel, you know, sort of wrong. The actual amount of blood and gore may be minimal, but the real world implications probably won't sit right with most people. 
especially during one level where you try to attack an elementary school. Jesus Christ, who thought this was a good idea? Number four, this war of mine. Sometimes the most disturbing content of all doesn't have to be anything excessive. Sometimes all you need is painfully realistic settings, characters you care about, and impossible choices that tear at your heartstrings. Here, players take control of a group of survivors in a makeshift shelter, stuck in the middle of a war-torn country. With the goal of ensuring everyone's survival, the decisions you make regarding who to assist with what little you have, as well as dealing with whether or not you risk the well-being of others for the sake of your own people, will stick with you long after you've turned the game off. Number three, I have no mouth and I must scream. Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon! Wanna play a game about absolute hopelessness? Well, how about one where a crazed AI kills the world's population save for five humans, who he then tortures for decades on end before putting them through a final challenge of overcoming their own fatal flaws? My god, what have I done? Even for a point-and-click adventure game, the subtext on this one is pretty apocalyptic. Then, of course, you've got to deal with the bombardment of creepy visuals, such as a human sacrifice, demons, witches, and that batshit crazy machine that's playing with people's lives for fun. Untie me, you son of a bitch! I'll rip your spleen out! Number two, Silent Hill 2. In my restless dreams, I see that town. We would not like to be James Sunderland, drawn into the mysterious town of Silent Hill after receiving a letter from his thought-dead wife. James soon finds himself isolated in a living nightmare as he finds that his own guilt and desire to be punished after his wife's passing have taken physical shape, namely in the form of the iconic pyramid head. Drenched in atmosphere and packed with distorting visuals, if the monsters from this franchise's second outing don't creep you out, then its multiple endings probably will. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Manhunt 2. Because what else could top our list other than what many consider to be the goriest video game ever made? As a <clears throat> less than benevolent mental patient named Daniel Lamb, players must seek out fragments of Daniel's fractured past, all while killing a whole lot of people in the most creative and gruesome ways possible. What the <laughs> Whether you prefer to dispatch your enemies via barbed wire, saws, knives, crowbars, flashlights, or even toilets, you'll have to have a pretty strong stomach to not wince while watching this collage of violence unfold. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.